Hello, my channel mammals and all the other mammals. It's so good to see you today. I don't usually um, come into the truck to read or to talk to you, but today it just seemed somehow quieter. <laughs> so here I am. It's the day of the, the week, the lesson this week in the Bible is about man, spelled with a capital M, which is God's man, which is the true st stature of each of us. And the golden text that goes with the lesson, which is kind of a summation of the lesson, is from Isaiah. Behold, I shall lift my hand in an oath to the nations and set up my standard for the peoples. They shall bring your sons in their arms and your daughters shall be carried in their shoulders on their shoulders. Doesn't that sound like a wonderful way to come together? And now I'm only going to read one of the sections of the lesson this week, section five. And if you'd like to read the whole thing where it gives wonderful in-depth study, there are six sections actually in it. And um, so section five is just one of them. And um, you, can, you can just go into the description and look for Veronica and she'll send you right to your phone this week's lesson, which you can have forever or never, <laughs> whichever you prefer. Okay, so section five is, where is it? Here it is. From the Bible, Psalms. Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. The scepter of thy kingdom is a right scepter. The king's daughter is all glorious within. And from Isaiah, Behold my servant, whom I uphold, mine elect, in whom my soul delighteth. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. A bruised reed shall he not break, and the smoking flax shall he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth. In Mark, here's who God was talking about there. Jesus came into Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God and saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Matthew. And behold, a woman, which was diseased with an issue of blood, 12 years, came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. For she said within herself, if I may but touch his garment, I shall be whole. But Jesus turned him about. And when he saw her, he said, daughter, be of good comfort thy faith hath made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from that very hour. And then in Science and Health with Key to the Scriptures by Mary Baker Eddy, it says, when speaking of God's children, not the children of men, Jesus said, the kingdom of God is within you. That is truth and love reign in the real man, showing that man in God's image is unfallen and eternal. Christ, truth, was demonstrated through Jesus to prove the power of spirit over the flesh, to show that truth is made manifest by its effects upon the human mind and body, healing sickness and destroying sin. Inasmuch as God is good and the font of all being, he does not produce moral or physical deformity. Therefore, such deformity is not realm, but is illusion, the mirage of error. Divine science reveals these grand facts. On their basis, Jesus demonstrated life never fearing nor 
obeying error in any form. The body seems to be self-acting only because mortal mind is ignorant of itself. It is of its own actions and of their results. Ignorant that the predisposing, remote and exciting cause of all bad effects is a law of so-called mortal mind, not of matter. Mind, the capital M, is the master of the corporeal senses and can conquer sickness, sin, and death. Exercise this God-given authority. Take possession of your body and govern its feeling and action. Keep in mind the verity of being that man is the image and likeness of God in whom all being is painless and permanent. The divine science of man is woven into the one web of consistency without seam or rent. Mere speculation or suspicion appropriates no part of the divine vesture, whilst inspiration restores every part of the Christly garment of righteousness. That's all we're going to read today. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday, and I hope you get a chance to think about this or listen to it again and absorb it, the wonderful truth within it. It's quite radical when you think of it, that God is all, there's no other power, and God only creates good. Never anything of truth is of God, of, of, of a lie, the lie that we could be suffering or painful, as the woman with the issue of blood proved in that wonderful situation in the Bible where Jesus just felt her hungering and her thirsting and her fearless confidence in God. Okay, my friends, I'll talk to you again another day soon.